It's kind of funny when your dog follows you around, especially when you don't, when they want something from you. That is a big sign to when dogs are needy. Mina, welcome back to my channel or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me then welcome to my channel please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes all oh. and I have Humphrey right here with me and we're gonna do a Humphrey and story time and today's Humphrey and story time is going to be the time I'm sorry, um, Humphrey's being cute. Anyway, um, so we're gonna do a Humphrey and story time and today's story is going to be the time Gabby and Mr. Pickles wouldn't stop following me around the house. So this is a story just to let you guys know, sometimes when your dogs want something, um, you kind of have to figure out what they want because if you, because when they want something, sometimes they'll end up following you around. And it is kind of funny because you don't know what they want. And then when you say a certain word, and they get excited about about it. And this is a story about how I had no idea why Gabby and Mr. Pickles were following me around, but then I finally realized once I said the word walk, they wanted me to take them for a walk. Spoiler alert, alert, alert. So this is a pretty funny story about how I just did not expect it and it was kind of cute as well. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> <laughs> so this all started about a year ago. I was, Humphrey, cover your mouth. You don't yawn without covering your mouth. <laughs> anyway, um, so this all started about a year ago. Um, my mom was in bed. She was sleeping because she didn't feel well. She had like a like an up and down, an upset stomach or something. And so Gabby, um, who had been in bed for a few days, finally was able to get up and walk around. And for those who are new to my channel and don't know who Gabby was, she was my 16 and a half year old Boston Terrier. Sadly, we had to put her to sleep about a year ago. So anyway, so I was busy um, taking care of the dogs. I had given Gabby her pill. I had taken care of Mr. Pickles, fed him and give him stuff he needed to have. And so, once all they were they were all fed and then Gabby was pilled, pilled, they start following me around and I'm a little confused. I'm like, this is kind of weird. Why are they still following me? I had fed them, given Gabby her pill. What do they want? So I give them a treat and they're so excited and happy. So after I give them a treat, they still start following around, me around. And so I'm just trying to figure out why they're still following me around because I couldn't figure out what they wanted. Gabby had gotten her pill, like I said. Pickles and her, she and Pickles were already fed and she and Pickles had already gotten a treat. So I had done all that stuff for them. And I was just trying to figure out why in the world they were still following me around. So then all of a sudden, I suddenly started to think about it. And, and for a couple days, Humphrey, Sorry, for a couple days, Gabby had not been out for a walk. So when I say, do you want to go for a walk? Gabby looks at me, gets so excited, and so does Mr. Pickles. And that's when I realized that Gabby wanted to go for a walk. So, and that's why they were following me. So I thought this was kind of cute and kind of funny because I just did not expect Gabby to follow me everywhere. She normally followed my mom everywhere, but... She was following me everywhere because she wanted me to take her for a walk. So I put Gabby in her harness, or her, not harness, her halter, and then I put Mr. Pickles on his show color, and then I just take them for a quick little walk, walk up the block to um, the local park near my house, just to get them out of the house and and um, so I could get some exercise as well. And Gabby was just like super excited in a really good mood. And we were just so happy she was able to go out for a walk again. 
So the moral of the story is it is quite funny when your dog follows you around and it's also confusing because you don't know what they want until you actually say the word they want. Like when you say walk and they'll get excited, they'll want to go for a walk. Or if they want follow you around because they want food or something and they want when, when you say food, they get excited. So basically you just got to figure out when they're following you, you just got to figure out what they want from you. And when you figure out what they want from you, then they'll get excited for it and that's when you know what they know what they really want so just always pay attention to that little thing so that was a story about how gabby and mr pickles followed me around i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day except for tuesday and friday afternoon sometimes and i'll see you in another video soon bye bye say bye bye humphrey thank you for watching and please subscribe